The special or unlimited arc fault test is the most severe fault that can occur in a switchboard and usually results in serious damage to the switchboard and presents a real danger to nearby personnel, as you'll soon see. This test verifies the ability or inability of the switchboard to contain the arcing fault within the functional unit. Note that fuse wire has been connected across the phases on the line side of the protective device. As soon as the test supply is applied, the fuse wire vaporises and an arc is established. The resulting ionised gases create a substantial increase in pressure inside the switchboard compartment. This tests the ability of the compartment and the switchboard to contain the fault. Because the arc is occurring on the line side, the arc continues to burn until it extinguishes itself or until the test supply is interrupted. When performing this test to the Australian switchboard standard, the duration of the test supply is selected by the switchboard manufacturer. As with the standard arc fault test, there are three pass-fail criteria. The IP rating must remain unchanged. The gauze that is suspended in front of the switchboard simulating an operator must not ignite. And adjacent compartments must be able to be put back into service that is, they must pass a dielectric test.